Every day, over 800 million liters of milk are consumed across the globe. But have you ever wondered how it's produced, processed, and bottled on a massive scale? From thousands of dairy farms to industrial scale factories, this is the fascinating journey of milk, from cow to carton. The journey of milk starts at the dairy farm, where cows are milked two to three times a day. Each cow produces an average of 25 to 35 liters of milk per day, depending on the breed, feed, and health. Modern dairy farms rely on fully automated milking parlors. Cows step onto rotating platforms where suction cups gently extract milk. These systems track each cow's output, temperature, and milking cycle. To ensure hygiene, the teats are cleaned before and after milking using disinfectant sprays. The milk never touches human hands. Once collected, the raw milk flows through stainless steel pipes into refrigerated storage tanks kept at 4 degrees cells, 39 barred, to prevent spoilage. Time is critical. Within a few hours of milking, milk is loaded into insulated tankers and transported to processing plants. These stainless steel tankers are designed to maintain the milk at constant cold temperatures, often equipped with real-time monitoring sensors. Before unloading, each batch of milk is tested for temperature, bacterial count, antibiotic residues, and overall quality. If it fails any parameter, the entire batch is rejected. At the factory, milk enters through the receiving bay. Automated systems pump the milk into massive holding silos that can store up to 250,000 liters each. From here, the milk enters a controlled and sequential process of purification, standardization, and packaging. The first step is clarification, removing dirt, debris, and somatic cells using a centrifugal clarifier spinning at thousands of RPMs. Next comes separation. Milk is fed into centrifugal separators that spin rapidly, separating the lighter fat from the denser skim milk. This allows processors to create different types of milk, whole, semi-skimmed, or skim, by recombining cream in specific ratios. Raw milk has fat globules that naturally rise to the top. Homogenization solves this. The milk is pumped through ultra-high pressure valves that break fat globules into microscopic particles, preventing cream from separating. The result, a smoother, uniform texture with a longer shelf life. Pasteurization is the heart of milk safety. The milk is rapidly heated to 72 greasy and 60 for 15 seconds then cooled instantly. 
This process kills dangerous bacteria like Salmonella, Listeria, and E. coli. Without altering the taste or nutrients significantly. For ultra-long shelf life, some factories use UHT ultra-high temperature treatment. 135 degrees cells, 275 degrees Farif, for just 2 to 4 seconds. At each stage, milk is sampled and tested. In-house laboratories analyze everything, fat percentage, protein content, microbiological safety, and even taste profile. High-precision machines, including FTIR analyzers and bacterial incubators, ensure each batch meets national food safety standards. Depending on the product, vitamins like A and D may be added to milk before packaging. This enhances its nutritional profile, especially in regions where deficiencies are common. The process is automated, with exact dosages calibrated to avoid excess or shortfall. Now comes the final step, bottling. Milk flows into ultra-clean filling lines, operating under positive air pressure. Plastic bottles or Tetra Pak cartons are sterilized with steam or UV light before filling. Machines fill, seal, label and cap over 20,000 bottles per hour. Barcodes and expiration dates are printed using high-speed inkjet printers. Some lines include robotic arms that place sealed cartons into crates for shipping. Finished products are stored in cold warehouses until trucks, loaded with GPS track pallets, deliver them to retailers. From cow to carton, the entire journey takes less than 48 hours, ensuring freshness and safety. Not all milk becomes drinking milk. Some is diverted to make yogurt, butter, cheese, and powdered milk. The leftover whey from cheese making is used for protein powders. Even the fat from skimmed milk finds use in cosmetics or ice cream. Modern factories are also investing in renewable energy, water recycling, and anaerobic digesters to turn cow waste into biogas. Countries like India, the US, and China process hundreds of millions of liters of milk per day. In mega plants, operations run 24-7, with minimal human intervention, relying on sensors, AI, and data analytics to manage volumes at industrial scale. The coordination between farms, tankers, labs, machines, and stores is a marvel of modern supply chains. Next time you pour a glass of milk, remember, behind that simple act lies an immense network of biology, engineering, and logistics. From the gentle rhythm of a cow's heartbeat to the precision of robotic bottling arms, this is how milk is made. Enjoy learning how everyday things are made? Hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss the next fascinating process.